R.I.P. man. R.I.P. The Pokemon Global Lake. It's been one hell of a good one. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we got some brand new information regarding various services for Pokemon Sword and Shield regarding the Pokemon Global Link and how it will not be compatible with the Pokemon Sword and Shield games on the Nintendo Switch. Let's jump right into the news article coming from the Pokemon Global Link website itself, basically killing off the Global Link for future games. It says, hello there, trainers. Thank you for using our products and services. We have some information regarding the Pokemon Global Link, the PGL as it's known, and the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, which will release for the Nintendo Switch on November 15th, 2019. For Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield services equivalent to the current rating battle and online competitions are planned to be supported. However, PGL, Pokemon Global Link, will not support the Pokemon Sword and Shield games. Again, RIP to the Pokemon Global Link. It's been fun from, I think it started back in black and white. I could be wrong, but all the way back since the original DS days, now the last game being Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, it's been one hell of a run. So they're shutting down the service. I don't think they're like completely shutting it down, but they're basically moving everything over to Pokemon Home. And let's jump into that. It says these battles and online competitions will be enjoyed in Pokemon Sword and Shield using just the connectivity features of the Nintendo Switch. GameSync will not be required for these new games. If you do not know what that means, Game Sync is basically when you got Pokemon Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon or any, you know, Sun and Moon, XY, whatever, you had to sync your game to the Pokemon Global Link inside of your game and on the website, make an account, and then to participate in these online competitions, if you wanted to go to Worlds and stuff and like that, you had to have a Pokemon Global Link account. Kind of confusing way to set up, you know, online competitions and stuff like that, you know, but that was a way that the Pokemon company can do that as far as setting up online competitions and keeping track of your stats and stuff like that, especially on the hardware like the Nintendo 3DS, which was at the time in the, the, you know, the DS before it at the time was something quite difficult. I don't want to say quite difficult, but that was Nintendo. Look at what Nintendo online is today. Imagine how worse it would have been back when the DS launched. So yeah, the Pokemon Global Link and the whole game sync feature does need an upgrade. And that's exactly what they're saying right now. They're like, you know, the Global Link is still gonna exist. We're still gonna do the stuff the Global Link does, just not a part of the Global Link. It says, in addition, functionality from the PGL, the Pokemon Global Link, to view services such as ranking, distribution regulations, and the event calendar will be provided through Pokemon Home, which is planned to release on iOS and Android devices early 2020. Please look forward for more details on Pokemon Home coming soon, Nintendo Switch online membership and Nintendo account requirement for online play, internet access required for online features, terms and conditions may apply, Nintendo Switch online for more information. So again, basically sunsetting the Pokemon Global Link as we know it inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield. It will not be in those games. But again, we do not know the full functionality of Pokemon Home for what we do know, we know that's going to be the way that we're going to be able to transfer Pokemon from Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, Pokemon Go and Pokemon Bank into Pokemon Sword and Shield. So again, this is replacing Pokemon Bank and the Pokemon Global Link at the same time, which to me is a great idea because that brings everything in one place. Players who are casual, who just want to bring over Pokemon from Pokemon Go inside of their Pokemon Sword and Shield games will now also see another tab for online competitions, maybe press it and maybe dive into online competitions. I think this is a way to just salad bowl everything together and kind of confine everything into one app, one hub and sounding like the name Pokemon Home. This is going to be the 
home destination for everything Pokemon. I think they're gonna run new stuff through here. We're gonna get online competitions, distribution stuff, connecting to bank. You know, this is gonna be our Pokemon Central where we dump tons of Pokemon at. I'm hoping there's gonna be ways to also interact with the Pokemon as well. We know we can trade from Pokemon home to home, so that's cool as well, without actually pulling out our Nintendo Switch system to trade. So again, it's just little stuff like that. They're catching up with on the online portion of Pokemon and making it more stream-based, making it more friendly, making it more user-friendly for casuals and hardcore competitors alike. I think this is pretty cool to kind of roll everything into Pokemon Home. It just makes sense. It just makes everything easier. But let me know what you guys think about the death of Pokemon Global Link. Do you think it's a smart move for the Pokemon company to roll everything into one app like Pokemon Home? Or would you have liked it like how it is now where everything is kind of separate and you know, you go to the competitive stuff for the competitive stuff and you go to the casual, just you know, Pokemon Bank stuff for the Pokemon Bank slash home stuff. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so I'm gonna see you guys down there. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It does help me out as far as getting the video into recommended and stuff like that. And if you wanna see more content like this, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell if you wanna be notified on the next time I drop a video. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. So if you would like to help and you enjoy the content, you might as well hit that subscribe button, help a brother out to get to one K. Peace. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield news update video. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.